What's up, everybody? It is still me, Tural, and we're continuing talking about C Sharp interview questions and answers. And special in this tutorial, I'm going to cover .NET internals topics like what is CLR, what are the CLR's responsibility, and the BitJet compiler. I know we have talked about these topics, but this is specially designed for .NET interview preparation process. You might be several times asked about CLR, JIT compiler, and as an interviewer, I have several times asked about CLR, .NET internals, JIT compiler. So I will try to cover everything you need to know, everything you need to cover to understand these topics. So stick around, let's get started. .NET is a runtime special ecosystem for your applications. In .NET, we have more than 100 programming languages, and the most popular ones are C Sharp, Visual Basic, Visual C++, F Sharp, etc. Per programming language, we have compiler for C Sharp, we have C Sharp compiler for Visual Basic, we have Visual Basic compiler, etc. Let's talk about C Sharp compilation process. In a C Sharp compilation process, we mostly use C Sharp, so I'm talking about C Sharp, but uh, this is approximately the same for all .NET languages. We have a source code written in an uh, understandable language. So in C Sharp, we have this human understandable code and when you run this application your application will be sent to the um, c sharp compiler and this c sharp compiler will accept your source code as an argument will parse it compile it into intermediate language you see this is a little bit different than other programming languages like pascal delphi etc non.net platform language because in their case they have direct compilation to machine instructions but in our case we have intermediate language and we have JIT compiler, a special just-in-time compiler that's able to read intermediate language and convert it and compile it to CPU-based instructions. Let's see, this is our simple console application, you see, and I'm just going build, rebuild, and from developer command prompt, I will just ask for LDASM. So you see, I'm just calling LDASM. Let's hit enter, and let's go to our folder, bin debug.net8. Let's just take our dll file and from the dll i'm just going to the main and here we are this is our intermediate language instructions and these instructions will be read by our jit compiler and will be compiled to cpu instructions why we are not using direct compilation process because in most cases jit compiler is a better it has a better performance than the other default compilers and it is able to have the optimization to apply optimization depending from your hardware okay so that's why dotnet under the hood uses jit compiler and let's talk about CLR itself. When you run your applications from the operating system perspective, a process loader will automatically trigger. The process loader's responsibility is take your application and load it to memory. Of course, that's not all. The process loader also checks if this is the correct .NET application or not. You know, it is possible to build .exe, .dll files using different programming languages non-dotnet uh, language so the process loader will be sure that this application is actually dotnet application checking it headers and will load it to our memory also process loader's second responsibility is trigger cellar cellar is a special application in dotnet platform uh, it it is common language runtime and this runtime is actually a runtime for your application so uh, the uh, CLR will be loaded into memory and we have tons of responsibility from the CLR's perspective. This is your interview questions. So let's try to understand the CLR's responsibilities. CLR's first responsibility is memory management. The second responsibility is exception handling. CLR also responsible for loading assemblies that your application needs. CLR's uh, another responsibility is security, type safety, etc. So CLR will be loaded by process loader and the process loader will forward the pipeline responsibility to CLR. And in CLR, we have one important component called 
JIT compiler, okay? And this JIT compiler will take your intermediate language code and compile it to machine instructions. It will apply optimization uh, because uh, when we have intermediate language code, we already know about hardware uh, configurations, hardware environment, etc. And depending this configuration, JIT compiler is able to create optimized code for your machine instructions, okay? It will have really optimized uh, code that's able to be converted to machine instructions.